Welcome to the Brad and Taylor Show. Today we have Kate Gingery. You're listening to the Brad and Taylor Show, a podcast that inspires entrepreneurs to pursue their passions. We're sitting down with some of the best to learn how they got started and some lessons they learned along the way. Hey, Kate. Hey, how's it going? We're good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you. Awesome. Well, let's get this show started. Tell us a little bit about you. What do you do? Okay, so I am a realtor here in the Greater Lansing area. I work with Century Twenty One Affiliated, and um, my office is out of East Lansing. Awesome. So, yeah. So, yeah. what do you do? How how did you get into real estate? What did you do before this? So, I was a stay at home mom for eight years, and um, basically, when I finished college. Um, found out I was pregnant like a couple weeks after. Um, and my husband and I had been married for a couple years at that point. So, um, and we had four kids back to back within three years. And so I just stayed home. And then, um, as my kids started getting older, I was like, you know what, I want to do something else. And it kind of was a natural fit because we both grew up flipping houses somewhat like both of our parents did. And then as we started purchasing homes and renovating and um, moving up in house, it just seemed like it would be a great fit. And it has been. Nice. That's awesome. I know you mentioned your parents yeah. both kind of flipped homes when you guys were growing up. Did you guys ever flip any? Have you guys done that yet? Yes. yes. Um, not flip flip, but like um, renovate, live in for a yeah. couple of years. And then, yeah, we've done it three times. Yeah. So we just bought our fourth house, um, last November and we, yeah, have completely redone it and probably in a couple of years we'll sell it. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So I know you, we mentioned talking a little bit about what you want to be when you grew up before we started recording and you weren't really sure, but what, what was the one main thing you wanted to be? I know you said there was a bunch of different things. What's the one main thing What'd you, you go were, to school for? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I went, my degree is in Spanish um, okay. with a minor in English. And I think my intention was to be a teacher. Um, but then I started, I did basically everything in college except student teaching. So I did like all of my um, like classroom visiting and all of that. And then I got through that and I was like, this is not happening. I am not doing this. This is not a good fit. Um, my mom's a teacher. And so I think I just thought, oh, this, it's a great career to, you know, have a family and, and she enjoyed it. So I was like, well, that's what naturally I'll do. And um, yeah, so I didn't end up doing that. But and I'm really glad I didn't. Honestly, I don't think it would have been a good fit. I love kids. I do not love teaching kids though. <laughs> so, and I actually just went through that. I have, um, six-year-old twins and we, uh, pulled them from school in September and I homeschooled them for two months this fall. And now they're back in school. And I was like, and this was not for me. This was not <laughs> for me. <laughs> so you tried it. You gave so, it your best. <laughs> yes, I did. And I'm so thankful for people who feel called to do that because it's hard it's really hard I it think is. so yeah I know I tried it for a little bit when the pandemic first started with our older two and I had a newborn at the time and I was like no no oh, this is yeah. not gonna work <laughs> so I, I know it's understand. hard <laughs> yes it's really hard yeah that whole um pandemic zoom yeah because our we have four kids our older two um we're, we're on zoom, like mm -hmm. when everything started with COVID and it was like, oh my goodness, this is hard. And obviously you feel for the teacher's suit because there's no ideal situation with online learning for five-year-olds, you know? Right. So, yeah. And then you, you had to balance your work schedule with that too. How yeah. Did, how did that go? Juggling. Yeah. Um, it was tough. Uh, my husband's like super supportive and helpful. And um, so he was helpful with the kids. Like if I had to do a showing at night or whatever, or during the day, we like juggled it or I got sitters. It just was a bunch of like spinning plates and fortunately yeah. nothing dropped. <laughs> so <laughs> um, yeah, I'm really thankful for all of the flexibility though with my job because it's been, that's been a huge blessing, I think with being a parent and 
Yeah. Nice. So how long have you been in real estate now? I just finished my second year. Okay. Nice. When you first started, did you join a team or you kind of solo? No, no. I've been a single agent um, for as long as I've been in real estate. Yeah. Okay. Nice. So, That's awesome. Yeah. So how'd your first, uh, first year go? It went well. Um, I mean, considering, I think I had 13 transactions my first year, which was good. Yeah. Um, I think there's so many, it's, it's hard getting started. It's really yeah. hard getting started. There's, um, I mean, as you know, the market's saturated with agents. There's plenty of realtors. I would say there's um just a lot of it's just a lot of grunt work getting started and Mm -hmm. like having the confidence to keep moving forward and okay like talking yourself like do I have what it takes to do this is this a good fit like whatever and just like pushing through and being like no I'm doing this I'm doing this and I'm gonna um push through it and on the other side you're happy you did Um, I think it's been a really, really good fit for me with my personality and, um, with my family. And I just, I love my job. So I'm really glad I stuck with it, but yeah, it's definitely hard. Like the first year is like a lot of mental trash talk with yourself. I think it just like (laughs) overcoming that and being like, okay, no, I'm doing this. I'm going to be fine. We're going to do this. Yeah. So, yeah. (laughs) Did you get any advice when you first started from anybody that has stuck with you or what advice would you give to maybe someone new starting out? I would say, well, no. Okay. I'm not going to give any advice because I probably don't have anything. <laughs> call me if you need advice, call me. I'll give you a pep talk. But, um, so I sat down with Joe Vitale and he is an agent in my office. He's our former realtor and, when I started this whole process just to pick his brain. So I would say just find someone who you think is good mm-hmm. at their job and sit down with them and be like, how is this actually, how does this go? And he was like real honest with me. It's like, there's parts of this job that suck. And um, are you willing to do that? There's a lot of great parts too, but like, just know that there's going to be a lot of really like hard days getting started. And I was like, just so shocked. I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> and, and he and I were talking a couple weeks ago at our Christmas party for work. And he was like, remember when I sat you down and told you that? And you still did it anyway. <laughs> I was like, I know, but I'm glad he did. Because it's like, we all have this like rose color view or, you know, yeah, view of how things are yeah. going to be. And then they're not that way. So. Yeah, it's I nice just having someone that. just to give you yeah. the hard truth of when you're getting into it. Because like you said, the rose-colored glasses, everyone has those on when they first get started, it seems like, and they don't really realize what work goes into being an agent when you first start out behind the scenes. So, Yeah, a lot of, like, systems being put in place and just follow up. And, you know, I think if you put your clients at the center of your business and your perspective is to serve them well and serve them with excellence, then you're not going to go wrong. Yeah. But just keeping that perspective and not burning out. Yeah. Yeah. The burnout, I know, is a huge in the first couple of years. You got to balance yeah. it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the first five, I think 87% of agents um, fail or quit or whatever. So. Yep. Goes yeah. back to that mental pep talk in your head. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you got to have a positive mental attitude. Yes. You really do. I mean, in anything you do, you have to. Mm-hmm. But especially, I think, in, you know, being an entrepreneur, like, you have to just say, you know what? I'm going to give this however many years I'm going to do my best. And I think that's when, like, success follows. If you can just, like, keep pushing forward, even if it's hard. Have grit, you know? Absolutely. Yep. <laughs> Over the last so. couple of years, what is the most interesting home you've been to? Or showing? <laughs> Um, over the last couple of years, honestly, I don't go, well, interesting, interesting, or, bad, good, whatever you want to share. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think most houses have a lot of charm and potential. I don't usually go into a house and go, oh my gosh, this is horrible. But again, that's like our background is we always redo everything. 
So that's true. Yeah. Um, that's kind of the perspective. I did go into a investment property recently and I was pretty grossed out. It was, uh, coated with like tar, like wow. people had been sitting in it for like 15 years oh. and like the walls were like completely orange. Yes. Wow. The ceilings Yellow. too, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's probably in, yeah. And the bathrooms were in horrible shape. So that's probably the worst recently, but I usually don't go into a house and go, no, this is, you know, you can see bad. the potential with it. Yeah. Yeah. Usually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did that one with the tar all over, did you end up selling that one? No, no, no. They were, so I actually, I have, um, they're really good friends of mine, but they're, they've been buying like different properties, like rental homes and like duplexes and stuff. And they would have been open to it, I think, but the sellers were really stuck on price. So we didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe that's a good thing. It would have taken a lot, a lot of cleaning, a lot of, a lot of I know. sweat equity. I know. <laughs> when my friend texted me, she's like, I don't think we're moving forward. I was like, go with your gut. Like it's not. Yeah. Worth it. <laughs> exactly. But like, you know, yeah. <laughs> All you can do is, I'm like, it's not worth it if you're not like feeling it. So, yeah. and usually we all have like a sense of like, is this a good fit or not? Yeah. You know, besides fear, like fear can kind of cloud all that, but you usually know, like, is this a good idea for me to move forward? So, yeah, for yeah. sure. What kind of goals do you want to finish up and or start in 2022? Um, I think I am going to increase my transactions. Okay. Um, and yeah, just keep growing my business. So I, um, more than doubled it. I tripled it in 2021 from my nice. first year. And so hopefully just keep going up and, um, yeah, putting my clients first. That's the goal. So sweet. Awesome. Well, before we go today, how can people get a hold of you and what areas are you located? I know you mentioned Lansing. Do you do all the surrounding yeah. areas as well? Yeah. So I live um, in Okemos, like Meridian Township. So okay. that's kind of where my family like hops around and we go to school and work and all that. Um, our office in, is in East Lansing, but yeah, I work all of greater Lansing. Um, and then to find me, um, I'm on Instagram, Kate gingery realtor it looks like gingery <laughs> <laughs> and um facebook same thing kate gingery realtor and then my phone number is 313-410-0196 and yeah just google me and pretty easy to find so awesome hey thanks for coming on and sharing your story with us today yeah no problem hope you guys have a good day thanks for having me are these working all right he's ready there we go. Oh, there we go. I think that works. Should we tell him? Uh, Mine keeps falling. It doesn't like my voice. What do we got to tell him? Subscribe. Subscribe? What do we, do we got to point at it? Hey, I think there's a subscription button like. It might be, it might be there. It might be right there too. Somewhere. Somewhere. Find it. It's red. Yeah. It's and red. it's blue. It's green. I don't really know. It's, it's a color. This mic isn't even attached. Did you plug these in? Well, I guess uh, I wonder if they can hear us. Yeah, I wonder if they hear us. Well, we should probably tell them if, if they can hear us. We should probably tell them also give us a five star review for listening to on Apple. That'd be cool. Five, five star stars, review. guys. Share it with everybody they can think of. We won't take but, four stars. I mean, I don't even think these are on. I mean, this no, is, I don't think this is working. This is not working. Yeah.